Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my first escherotic treatment with Nick Leroy in Chicago. So I came here in August and I did my first treatment on the 14th. Um, initially, I was really scared, concerned, anxious, everything that everyone feels when they go to um, commence escherotic treatments. I um, went with my mum. So the first five times I was with my mum. So when I went in, um, what Nick does is first uh, he takes a photo of your cervix to see what it looks like initially um, and he then puts the escherotic treatment on. Now the difference between him and some other naturopathic doctors is that he uses turmeric. Um, other naturopathic doctors they use bromelain um, and you're on the table for a little bit longer. With Nick you're on the table for maybe even three minutes, if, if that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so he um, put the application on, he took it off, and then because it's stained at that stage, you you can see the abnormal cells. They've been highlighted by the the escherotic asher treatment, the blood root and the zinc chloride, uh, along with um, the turmeric. So um, he took a photo of that. That was done. Now, in terms of pain, I didn't feel anything. Um, it felt immediately, though, like um, it felt like just before I'm supposed to get my periods. So I just, it feels a little bit sensitive. It doesn't hurt. I just know that I'm going to get my period. So all I want to do is lie down, have a bed next to me, and that's it. Nothing else. Um, but that went away quite quickly. Um, I think from memory, it was maybe like 15 minutes or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyways, so um, <coughs> so I got dressed and then we looked at the photos. When he put the photos up, I was really shocked at the fact that my um, cervix didn't even look that that bad. What were, what I was told in Sydney was that um, I had a chronic cervicitis, that I had SIN3 and that I also had SIN2, but it wasn't in the canal. Now, this wasn't based on an actual... Um, uh, a biopsy. Um, I went to a gynecologist just before I left for Chicago and he did a colposcopy, colposcopy on me. Um, so he, I was recommended to him by a good friend of mine who, who really said that he, you know, he's really, really good at what he does. And I, I'm sure that he is. I mean, he's a professor. He's finished all over uh, he's got degrees all over the world in London Sydney everywhere just everywhere so I mean again that doesn't really you know uh, it doesn't guarantee that he will be the best but clearly he's got a lot of knowledge so okay I went to him he said that he confirmed that and yeah that's fine he suggested to me to go on I asked him actually if I should do a biopsy he said because the cervix was inflamed that I should be, I should probably take antibiotics um, and for, for three weeks and then we can do a biopsy. He didn't seem very concerned about doing a biopsy. What he wanted to do was do a leap mostly. And um, I, at that stage was asking him, okay, so if I do take these antibiotics, are they going to eliminate the inflammation? He said, no, they'll reduce them by 40%. So to me, that didn't really sound good. 40% um, just to reduce the inflammation. Now, in my head, I was imagining that my inflammation was huge, right? Because I had been struggling with um, HPV for well, for about a year. I was I was really concerned about it for the last year. So <clears throat> I told him about this treatment in Chicago with Nick Leroy, Escherotics. Um, he was open to um, view it. So I sent the link to him. But he did tell me then, and I thought that that was really, I know that it's their duty of care, but I thought it was really insensitive um, and unprofessional to an extent. He said, um, it's your choice at the end of the day if you want to do it. He's like, I'm not sure about this treatment, but you have to um, take into consideration the risks of getting cancer if you don't do leap. So that was really, I thought it was really, really insensitive and really discouraging. It was what it was. I decided not to take the antibiotics because I'm 
definitely not a fan of antibiotics because they don't, in my personal opinion, they, they really don't help in um, promoting your health. They help in making your health degenerated. So um, I spoke to Nick. He said at this point it probably wouldn't matter if I did a biopsy. Um, so we scheduled to uh, have a the first assuratic treatment and I did. And yeah, so back on to the photos. So when I saw the photos, I um, I was shocked and I was relieved at actually how small it was. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, the SIN three and SIN two, yes, they were there, but the inflammation itself it wasn't that bad. And you know, he said to me, you know, this is really not that that bad. He's like, I've seen worse inflammation. Um, and I asked him, I was really concerned at that stage had the pathology reports even been correct if it was that small. He said that usually the pap smears are correct. So if it was SIN3, it probably was SIN3. Um, and that, yeah, so that was that. We left it at that. Um, I actually left feeling very relieved. Um, like I said, there was literally no pain involved. It was very, very quick. Um, so... Yeah, overall, my exp my first experience with Nick Leroy and Asherotic treatments was absolutely fine. I mean, like, you know, the whole um, – my, my biggest concern was at that point um, was the pain because I don't have a very high threshold of, of pain. Um, so I – before I was um, – before I went to Nick, I, I was asking all of these ladies, you know, what's the pain like, what's the pain like. I really wanted a uh, – I wanted a concrete uh, – example of what the pain would be like but everyone was telling me the same thing and um, essentially really that's what it is I know that some women have extreme pains but like I said a pain is also relative what does pain mean to you I mean to me I've got a very low threshold of pain so someone else you know might consider that as nothing what I consider as huge um, so that's um, that for the first escherotic treatment so I'm gonna put a link um, below for the the forum that I I was in that I'm currently still um, in and I'm commenting on and, and all this kind of stuff so you'll find my um, comments for all of my treatments um, in the inspire.com forum um, I'll put a link down there so you guys can see what all the other ladies have said about the escherotic treatments um, and yeah I'll get on to my next one shortly maybe tomorrow I don't know so I've I'm currently on my I'm going on to my ninth treatment I didn't really think to do YouTube videos back then um, but I think it's going to be useful for women who are considering doing escherotic treatments um, I know that I wish that I kind of had this before I went into it but I suppose being an Aries I'm a little bit of a risk taker so I'm usually the first one to do things like this or anything that's just a the symbolism of an Aries I suppose um, so, yeah, if this is helpful to any ladies considering doing um, escherotic treatments, great, especially if you're considering doing it with Nick Leroy because he is a chiropractor, he's not a naturopathic doctor. But I'll get into his qualifications and his background in another post. Um, so, yes, good luck and hopefully this information is very useful for ladies.